In this video, I will show how to navigate the Adobe Analytics tool. In Adobe Analytics, there are two main menus. We have this one here, and then also if you click on the star, it brings up a second menu. So let's start with the first one over here. On the left, we have all the different reports we can run. So site metrics, site content, etc., down to custom traffic. If you click on these, it'll bring up uh, further things we can do to look at the data. But starting at the top here, this tab here that shows VOA English All Sites is the Report Suite Navigator. So if we click on this, it'll give you all the options for Report Suites that you can look at. So as I mentioned, we're on VOA English, but let's change it to VOA French All Sites. Now that it's switched over to the VOA French, we get the site overview for the VOA French site and these are going to continue loading here. Next to the report suite we have the segments. So currently we're looking at all visits to the VOA French site. But if we want to look at a different segment we could. So for example here we could look at first time visits as opposed to all visits. And this will change the data that we're seeing here. While this is loading here we can see the dates right here show March 2014. If we click on this, we can change the date frame that we're looking at. So if we want to look at February's numbers, we could just click on the February uh, tab here and it selects all the dates in February. Similarly, if we want to look at a two week period, we could click and drag and look at two weeks here in February. But let's stay on March. There's also this select preset tab here where we could look at um, selected preset dates. So if we want to look at this week, it would select just this week. This is useful later when we're looking at making comparisons between dates. So that's the basic navigation inside the Adobe Analytics tool. The site overview lets navigate to site content and look at the pages report for the VOA French site. So again, we're looking at the VOA French segment report suite and the first time visits segment. And we see here that our date has changed to this week. So let's try to get this back to the whole month report here. Okay, now we're looking at the whole month of March. And this is showing that our top five pages are these ones listed here. And if we scroll down more, we can see uh, much further than five pages and how many page views they had but we want to look at more than just page views. So let's go to this tab here, add metrics, and we could add other information that we're interested in looking at in this report. So in addition to page views, let's look at bounce rate, and let's also add visits. And then we hit OK to populate the new report. Okay, now we can see our top five pages for page views, bounce rate, and visits in these different bars here. So this gives us a more robust report. So up here now in the date section, Let's say we wanted to re compare previous dates of the same report. We click on the compare dates tab up here and let's compare the last two full months. So let's compare January and on this preset here we can click last month. So that'll give us February. Now if we hit run report it'll give us a comparison of January and February's numbers for this report. And there it is. We can scroll down here and it'll give you the information here as well and what the percentage change is between the numbers for January and February. We could also sort the numbers on the change if we wished. Okay, so we're looking at this in the ranked tab right now. Let's see what it looks like trended. So here's our trended numbers 
for January 1st through the 31st for the top five pages. And in the trended view, we can view this by day, but we could also increase the granularity and look at by hour if we wished. But here it's telling me that we have too many days selected for this, so let's change that to go to March here. And let's just select the first through today's date. And so select a day again. Let's select hour. And there it is, our hourly report for uh, these five top five pages here. So this is the basic navigation in this menu here. Um, obviously there are more reports to run here and further information to get into. Let's take a look at this second tab over here. And over here uh, we have bookmarks and dashboards of interest. So <clears throat> we could bookmark this report if we wanted to to come back to look at it further times or if we wanted something we could look at daily. Similarly, dashboards, we can add a dashboard or we can manage existing dashboards. So let's look at some existing dashboards and manage them. So here's the list of dashboards that I have. And we'll just select one here. Uh, we'll just go with the BBG 20,000 report. So it's loading our report up here, and we'll be able to see that there's many different reports as part of this dashboard. So let's say I didn't like some of these in here, I wanted to edit it. You click on layout, and now it's showing me all the reports I can have in this dashboard on the left here. And you'll notice that in this view here, there's these arrows here, and this is how we change the layout. So let's squish this into the right there and it'll reconfigure this one and let's add the Burmese service over here okay and I don't think this graph is showing us a lot so let's just see the numbers for the network report so we click on the wrench and get rid of the graph view and it'll just show the details let's update that let's do the same here get rid of the graph and just show the details now I have the numbers and got rid of the graph and let's say over here that I don't like I don't like this report here so let's just get rid of this one so we just click and drag it away alright so we got rid of that report but now I got this empty space. So I want to see the numbers on this one too. So we can drop this down here and it'll expand the report down. And we should be able to see the numbers and the graph together. And there it is. So that's essentially how you manage your existing dashboards. If you wanted to add a dashboard, let's well not, if you wanted to save this, click save as, but I don't want to save this. So let's just click layout and it'll view. But let's go and do visitor profile geo segmentation and countries will show me where people are visiting my site from. So this again has the VOA French report suite and we're looking at the first time visits uh, segment. And again it's got it for a week selected here. Let's get the whole month selected. and oh, we got a problem no data match these criteria well that's because it has revenue selected as the metric and revenue is not populated in the Adobe Analytics tool so let's get rid of revenue and let's add bounce rate so this is going to show us bounce rate by country to the VOA French site
and there it is so we see that French Polynesia has the highest bounce rate among some other countries here so let's say I wanted to keep this in a dashboard so you click on dashboard okay so that's giving it the default title of countries report here we can leave it like that and we can just put it in the RFERL dashboard here and if we want to access this we get to it through accessing the RFERL dashboard um, in the manage section and this here is showing me that it's going to populate this every month so we can change this from rolling to fixed if you wish otherwise if you want to on a smaller say daily basis uh, we would adjust that in the calendar and we do that through the date ranges here So then now we see that it shows rolling daily instead. And we would click create new uh, to make this report. I'm going to cancel out of this one. One thing I failed to mention if we go back to the pages report. So we're viewing the first time visits segment, but we might want to report we might want to compare this segment to a different segment so here where it says compare to segment we click on this where it says none and it'll bring up all of our segments so let's say we want to compare the first time segment with visits with five previous visits so we select that and we hit OK so now we have a comparison between page views for first time visits and page views on visits with five plus previous visits. So we see they're fairly similar except for this one here and this one here. And it shows it on down here too. So this is the basic navigation and functionality of Adobe Analytics.